Now remember, this is the exciting part of programming because we're going to be combining old things we saw before into new things that we can use for something, um, something different, right? So now let's create a small program that detects all the, the numbers smaller than seven, right? So how do we do that? How do we show all the numbers in an array that are smaller than seven? First, let's work. Let's add some new numbers here, right? And now these are, this is a small list of numbers, right? So a human could actually read them and manually tell me, you know, this is smaller than seven, this is smaller than seven, this one, this one, and this one, right? It's easy for a person to detect them here. But what if we had a thousand numbers, right? It's like I said uh, before, with, uh, with arrays, with computers, you have the advantage that you can do a lot of repetitive work in very little time. So if we had 10,000 numbers, it would just be too difficult for a person to find all of the numbers there that are smaller than seven. But with a computer, it's really easy. It's just a couple of lines of code. So I'm going to show you how to do that. In this loop that we have before, if we run this loop, we get the whole list of numbers here, right? From the first one to the last one. But I want to filter out, I just want to show those numbers from here that are smaller than seven. So we're going to take something from our previous lessons. We're going to take the if statement from before, and we're going to combine it with loops and with arrays to create a useful program that tells us all of the numbers smaller than seven. So inside of this loop, I can say, if r i, if if the i value of r is smaller than seven, then we console log that value here. Only if it's smaller than seven. Only if it's smaller. If it's not, then we don't do this. We won't do this, right? So this is going to filter out for us all of the values from the array that are smaller than 7. So let's just run this. As you can see, we have 1, 5, 2, 0, 2. All of these are smaller than 7. And we can be very sure that there is no human error here because we have the code to prove that we're only going to see the number smaller than 7. Now, let's just have a little fun here and see... Let's copy all of this and let's paste it a lot of times, you know? So a person might take maybe 20 seconds, a minute probably, maybe no less than 10 seconds to find all of the smaller numbers than seven in this big chunk of numbers. But for a computer, it's just a matter of milliseconds, right? So we have all of these here. Uh, so that's it. That's uh, it for the proof of how you can use different uh, aspects of programming to create something entirely new out of the old pieces that we saw before.